Hmm. Is this the body? There are no injuries. Hmm. The fuck are you dickheads doing? Sure it took you long enough to get your asses here. Did you sell all your cookies or whatever? You detectives go on a nice little date. You think this is fucking hap happy fun time? This case is already pretty fucked up. Looks like serial murders. Sorry. We were talking with the building manager. The manager? You mean this asshole? I guess it wasn't clear enough to you that asking a mouth breather with this dumbass look on his face wasn't going to get you any significant answers, was it, jabroni? I mean, you've only been a detective for like, what, three years already? It's Shuryabu. And what about you, Sakaki? Uh, yes, sir. I'm helping out with the autopsy. Right, hero? Yeah, she makes herself useful. She's really quite a lifesaver, so please go easy on her, Kurosan. So having a cute young girl around is apparently a real motivator. Right, Jabroni? Are you seriously going to keep calling me Jabroni? He's a real Jabroni! I really hate that nickname. Quit fucking around and start investigating like a big boy. Unless you want to get tossed back out to the sticks. Yes, sir. What's this? This blood splatter. Good question. I mean, is there a move? No, we just talk. Talk things out. Oh, ooh. These are cute little like pixel portraits. It's it's clearly just like really de like deresolutioned portraits. Like they didn't actually make unique pixel art for them. They just like really shrank down their portraits and uh it takes a pet, like, Oh, no hey Faust. Yeah. Right? Not Sir, are you okay? That's a great cat right there. I am a great cat. You had a hard time, huh? You found the body, right? You seem okay. Are you used to this sort of thing? There are a lot of suicides around here, so you're probably used to finding bodies and stuff. Don't let it get you down. Hmm. If you don't need to be here, then fuck off. Man, she's mean. I don't like her. But also, I kind of like when women are mean to me. She's pretty rough, isn't she? There aren't many women out there with the nickname Japanese Dirty Harry. Her New Year's resolution was to become the kind of detective who looks good with a revolver. And she's got a really dirty mouth. Sorry for complaining like this. That's... She's the Japanese Dirty Harry. What do you want me to do? Don't let it get you down. They might just want me to talk. It seems like they want me to talk to folks. The HC unit forbids revolvers. Since she isn't able to carry one for her day job, she moonlights as a bouncer. If caught, she'd be fired immediately. But somehow, she never gets reported. Hmm. Okay, something with this. Yeah, there's, I understand there's something with the blood splatter. Something is bothering me. It's like... The pristine dead body. Some really vicious blood splatters. I almost feel like we're being invited. Do you get what I mean? We haven't, we haven't established what my name is yet. So I assume I'm a character separate from everybody else here. I would have to assume. It was the same in Silver Case. But it kind of did seem like we were playing as, uh... I'm just gonna call him Jabroni. It did kind of seem like we were playing as Jabroni. Seems like you're a civilian that found the body. Maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the building manager. I guess, I guess we are the person... We are the mouth breather that Kurosan was referring to. There's something unusual about this blood. 
Hiroka, do blood splatters usually reach the ceiling? Some small splatters could. It's not inconceivable. But this amount... This isn't realistic. Maybe it was done manually? Someone used some method of spraying it up there. But like... But like, what would the point of that be? This feels really weird for a suicide, doesn't it? That reminds me of, um... One of the cases in L.A. Noir, I think in the homicide desk, where the culprit of the of the case literally, like, put blood everywhere in, like, a path leading the detectives to, like, a piece of evidence. Yeah, in the six months since opening alone, there have been more than ten suicides, which definitely sounds fishy. Huh? You see this hole here? Hole? Hole? Something smells... Excuse me, could you cut the lights in this room for a minute? Something's bothering me. Is there going to be a light coming through? Lasers! Something weird is up with this light. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk it out. What's this? Lasers! This hole is... shining? It's too dangerous to be here. Get too close to the fire and you're gonna get burned. Okay. You should get out of here. This place reeks of something hidden and dangerous. Jabroni! Sakaki! Get away from the light! Lights? What the hell? At this time of day? That's awesome! It looks like Christmas lights! I like Sakaki. I like her. The manager should be taken outside where it's safer. Sakaki! Where are you? Respond! I'm totally fine. I'm fine, but the light is so bright. Ah! It's gonna cut off her fucking hand. Was that monitor the whole... Was that monitor on the whole time? Did that just go off again? Huh? What? Sakaki, are you even listening? Uh... No! Hey. Why are you all stiff? Your mouth's open. Sakaki? No way. Jabroni, tell me what the fuck is going on. Don't just vocalize your goddamn feelings. Use your fucking words to explain what's going on. She's dead. Sakaki was killed. Aw, oh, man. I liked her. That's why they made her cute. There's a sniper up above. Stay away from the light and get everyone out into the hallway. Sakaki. Sakaki's... I've lost another partner. God damn it. Suda, Suda knows my number at this point. Cities decay, and cities are built. Even if our infinite karma was a means of killing our way of life, we wouldn't notice. We're just dolls entrusting our everything to the system. Smile for me, Sakura. I'm utterly powerless. I'm just not gonna make it. Yet another perfect lifestyle has been born, and the dreamlike life based on despair contaminates the people. This could be the re-advent of the 24 wards. Alright then, everyone. It's about time to stop dreaming. All units, are you prepared? You have one mission. Kill the life. Hmm. It's no longer a kill the past game. It's a kill the life game. No, Kamui was gonna kill the past. That was Kamui's whole deal. This is something new. Until we have a clear idea of what this guy's packing, we're at a huge disadvantage. Listen up, Jabroni. 
We've only got two combatants out there. This hottie and your punk ass. But this is enough people to turn things around. The moon counter has me worrying. We've seen it twice. And so in Fatal Frame 4, we saw... The moon, what was it, 36 times total? No way. We don't even know who or what this guy is. Quit whining like a little bitch and just kill this guy. If you're gonna give up and die, then we'll know just how capable you are. If you're gonna be a detective, then man the fuck up and do your job for once. This is the Kusabi of the game, huh? Oh, well, this isn't Fatal Frame, but Fatal Frame 4 was directed and written by the same person who directed and wrote this game. Got it? Yes, I'll take him out. Suda51 has a fascination with the moon, and the moon features very heavily in, like, all of his games. It featured very heavily in Killer7 and in the Silver Case. We didn't see it a whole lot in uh, Flower, Sun, and Moon. We saw it that one time. Uh, but they did play Claire de Lune, which none of the other games have had the balls to do. Um, is it? I can't remember if the moon features heavily in No More Heroes. Uh, not as far as I know. Flower, Sun, and Moon. Yeah. Well, it was like... The flat was Flower, Sun, and... It's like a Pokemon game at that point. Moon fascination is completely understandable. Yeah, I think... Does Suda51 have Moonlight Syndrome? I really gotta finish watching the LP of the second Twilight Syndrome game so I can then watch the LP of the Moonlight Syndrome game. Uh, cause I wanna, I wanna understand. I wanna understand. Okay then. Now lure him out. Run this way down the hallway and you should reach the elevator. Wait on the upper floor. Huh? What about you? I'm gonna provide backup, obviously. I'm not so much of an asshole that I'd leave you hanging. Right? I guess I'm gonna have to go. Please make sure you have my back. Standing around here is dangerous. Come on, we're moving. So we gotta go back to the elevator. Ah. Uh, are we back? That was weird. That was very weird. That was weird, because, like, I didn't lose internet. I can still talk in chat. Chat was still updating on my screen. Uh... I... Twitch... Twitch kind of seems to be having problems lately. Um... That's... Because that happened during the last, what, Devil Summoner stream as well? That's weird. I didn't make any progress, we just ran down the hallway, so... That was definitely a longer hiccup than the last one, though. So we probably want to go to... what? We want to go to 80? The upper floor? Or do we just want to go to the floor above? Ah, oh, I guess we go to 80. Huh? The elevator stopped. I don't like the sense of instability. Uh... Look. Oh, we can't look. Shit. What do I do now? I don't get that bitch at all. What the hell kind of orders are these? Lure him out. The fuck kind of plan is that? She's not even backing me up either. I can't deal with this bullshit. Seriously. Alright, man. I think you need to I think you need to calm down. Oh. Were you listening? Were you eavesdropping? That's pretty creepy, man. If you were listening, then just tell me so. I'm not actually the type of guy to talk badly about people. To be honest, just between you and me, I actually respect her. 
That sounds forced, doesn't it? I really can't stand her. Ah! Huh? Is something shining? Whoa, what the fuck? A delivery guy? Uh, hey man. Hey, what are you doing over there? The mailman, right? What kind of work requires a night vision scope? Some sort of private startup or something? Man, you are dumb. It must be pretty tough, though. Having to insource secure work to go up against private corporations? Crawling up into the attic to assassinate people? Oh. Shit! He's got a gun! This shit is dangerous! What the hell am I supposed to do if I didn't die? Goddamn pampered comfy bureaucrats shouldn't be playing with grown-up toys. Huh? What, are you mad? Don't get in my way here. My job is stressful enough as it is. So? So I'll get you paid extra for being exploited like this in a dangerous environment. This job isn't really worth it, and the last thing I need is more stress. I want to settle this peacefully. Peacefully. What are you doing here? Look. The 25th Ward is kept secure by the Postal Services Federation. All the police need to do is handle adjustment and disposal afterwards. And seeing how you people actually work, what a pity. Looks like you're gonna die in vain, kid. So it was organized crime after all. I had read that it was a plot by general contractors, but damn. You simple detectives are out of your league with this. Your investigations are just a waste of time. This activity, it's invisible. What a load of horse shit. My job is managing and regulating the people. Now quietly shut your mouth. Uh... You talk too much. Oh, it's... She's got her tongue out. You're a 25th Ward HC unit detective, right? Then step up and kill the motherfucker. Disposal is your job. But like, there's that in interval, you know? That unique feeling you get when staring death in the eye. The mental strain between you and the opponent. The conflict. You're gonna die, you know that? We're in the shit here. Guys who wait around for intervals get their asses handed to them. Next time you hesitate like that, I'm gonna kill you myself. So stop being a pussy. Okay. I'll buy you some new undies later. So until then, keep your shit together. Shit. So, a guy was with the Postal Service. And appa apparently the Postal Service are a bunch of assassins? Hey manager, you're in the way. Go hide somewhere. We're surrounded. You can't get out of this. These assholes are desperate too. If this is their oh-so-holy workplace, then we're the intruders. That's some arbitrary reasoning. Disposing of these guys is also our own arbitrary reasoning. It's basically the same thing, right? Sakaki has been killed. We have a really big reason. And we killed one of theirs, too. So we're even. Even so, we have to avenge Sakaki. Jesus Christ, you guys are annoying. All you need to do is whip out your guns and dispose of these assholes. This job isn't about reasons and reasoning and shit like that. It's definitely the Kusabi of the game. But motive is important. What the fuck ever. It's been a while since I disposed of this pig. I'm pretty stoked. Don't get in the way, jabroni. And don't do anything stupid. Got it? This is a really big catch. Act accordingly. I'm gonna lose my shit too. The rage has really been building up. I'm gonna hulk the fuck out. Sorry if you get killed. Well, I'm gonna turn into a ferocious ass beast myself. Ferocious ass beast, huh? You're such a poet. Maybe I'll have you write my epitaph someday. I like these guys. They're really, they're really corny. This is so, this is so corny. Let the massacre begin.
This is some, like, Quentin Tarantino shit, honestly. The target resi residential district, number six Bayside Tower, has been neutralized. 39 Federation affiliates have been processed. 118 people were detained and then transferred to the processing center. Scheduled to be incinerated in 40 minutes. No change in schedule so far. Survival has been confirmed for three agents of the 25th Ward HC unit. One died instantly. Name? It has been confirmed that Agent Sakaki was killed in the line of duty. Oh, wait, that's not... Oh, I see. Be sure to take proper care of her surviving f family. Understood. What about our guy? We've confirmed their safety. I have been assured that they boast truly congeni congenital criminal prowess. Good work. Get out of the area as soon as the evidence has been destroyed. Roger. This isn't finished yet. You're still out there, somewhere close by. You're out there somewhere, laughing. Such an avaricious beast. Where are you? Looking down at the world and fucking laughing. Hmm. Ah, oh, what a cool building. There you are, up on the top floor. Who are you? Uehara is on the top floor of this building. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is this a new Kamui Uehara? Is this Big Private Dick Chinchilla? I feel like... Tokyo is probably the one that was the closest to becoming Kamui, right? Because he had the Ocular Silver... Oh, I guess he had the One Eye. Oh, so Tokyo didn't have Ocular Silverization. Tokyo took... an eye from the mayor of the 24 Warlords. So, uh, maybe he didn't fully become a Kamui? Only half Kamui? But also, I wonder if the Kamui Uehara that we're gonna deal with in this game is the same Kamui Uehara that we're gonna see later, but have already seen in Travis Strikes Again. Because that seemed like a different Kamui from the Kamui in the Silver Case. Welcome back, sir. Please produce your ID. I will confirm your identity. Where are my items? I don't have any. Please use this. Oh, the AP card. It's a security card for the special elevator. The person you need to meet with is on the top floor. Checking. Your identity has been confirmed. My apologies for the delay. Please proceed. So who are we playing now? Kind of seems like we're playing someone else. In the previous scene, we were playing the building manager. Now it seems like we're playing like an actual detective. Cool door. Gotta have a slow walk to the cool door. Suda loves slow walks down hallways. Huh. Huh. Uh huh. Wait, hold on. Now that I'm remembering TSA a bit more, wasn't, uh, Kamui Uehara in Travis Strikes Back, in Travis Strikes Again, 
was a searcher, right? Like Tsumio Mondo? I remember that cuz he was cuz we uh he helped us find the first the first death ball and he said I think he very specifically said that he was a searcher. Which is the job of one Sumio Mondo from Flower, Sun, and Rain. Which is interesting and weird, now that I think about it. Now that I have additional context for that, both for what a searcher is and for who, for who Kamui Uehara is, that's weird. Oh! But I guess Sumio Mondo is the product of a Kamui Uehara-like experiment on Lost Pass Island. But that wasn't Sumio Mondo that we encountered. That was Kamui Uehara. Because I think we would recognize... Well, I wouldn't have recognized him at the time, but now I have the image of that Kamui Uehara in my mind. He has like a bob cut that covers his eyes, right? And then later on, you see the demon eyes as you have to fight Kamui Uehara and the last Shabbos strikes back. Why is that Kamui a searcher, like Tsumio? Hmm. I don't know who this is. These are what you'd call adult toys. Ah! But please don't misunderstand. I wouldn't want you to think I was some sort of pervert. I don't mean it in the dirty sense. More like miniature gardens. And collecting action figures. It's more like that. <laughs> I have misunderstood. <laughs> Much like how older people try their hand at bonsai. One's social status and good name decides the toy. There's a reason high-rise buildings are constructed in the city. One can flash their rank to the world. Certain credentials are required to go upstairs. These credentials decide a person's value. But there are no more credentials for me to acquire. I've already obtained them all. Please, have a seat. Are you the flea sent by the dogs of the Ministry of International Trade and Industry? I'm afraid a flea can't accomplish much. Wow, look at that fucking guy! Mr. Uehara, it was me who called you here. I'm taking over the reins of the 25th Ward. After obtaining a wealth of actual power, I established this 25th Ward. For the purpose of creating the utopia of my dreams. Corporate kidnapping is in the like of child's play. This is how governments fall and fail and collapse. So, um, in between... Flower, Sun, and Rain, and, um, this. I have now read Kuroyami Dance. Um, and I feel like there is a recurring theme in Kill the Past games so far, where in Kuroyami Dance, there is the Kuragane Kingdom, which is created by one, I believe... Naito Kurogane. Um, but it's kind of, like, very very similar to the 24 Wards and the 25th Ward, where it's, like, this kind of... this self-governing city. Um... headed by one person. Um, this seems like a concept that Suda is very fascinated with. And it seems very recurring um, in his works. Also in Kurayami Dance is uh, the Union Hotel that Edo McAllister works at. Um, Edo McAllister being Mr. Edo from Flower, Sun, and Rain. Yeah, closed social systems and the madness that they can create. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that that is, some, that is very much something that I think fascinates uh, Suda. And I don't know, I don't really know the context behind that. I wonder if that is like a, like a uniquely Japanese fascination. I wonder if that's based on something. Um, it kind of, so it does seem similar, not specifically Japanese, 
But it does seem similar to the um, Kowloon Walled City. Um, that was in, I believe, Hong Kong? I believe? Kowloon Walled City was in Hong Kong, right? Um, which was this, like, functionally, I guess, a ghetto or a slum. Like, the biggest slum in the world. You should look up pictures of Kowloon Walled City. It is fascinating to look at. Um, it's a real place, though, Catherine. It's Kowloon Walled City was a very real place. Um, it used to be. They uh, kind of tore everything down now, and now in the place of Kowloon Walled City is just a park. Um, but yeah, uh, it kind of seems like that. I don't know if Kowloon Walled City was, like, self-governing. Um, yeah, like, Cal like, Kowloon Walled City is, like, fascinating and horrible. And, like, I find Kowloon Walled City kind of aesthetically beautiful. Like, the like the chaos of this like poverty but and like people like creating this like this weird mishmash of culture and life it's really it's really interesting i love like it's so it's so interesting um i'm actually i'm actually kind of setting a D, like a not a dnd &D campaign but a a savage worlds campaign there, uh, once we're done our current Monster of the Week, uh, campaign. It's gonna be very exciting. Anyway, I, that, that was, that was a tangent. I just find, I just find these, like, closed social systems and Kowloon Walled City itself really interesting. Um, for this new form of community, securing human resources is of the utmost priority. Capable human resources are what create a superior city. Where the 24th Ward went wrong was its prolongation of its plans based on growth and education. People are not made. People are scouted. This is where the ideology of the 25th Ward lies. Due to environmental and situational factors, capable human resources are rising up all throughout the country. However, there are absolutely no measures in place for their support or securement. As if to strike a final, devastating blow, huge numbers of employees have been let go from the Postal Service. Oh. These are the future citizens of the 25th Ward. For this purpose, buildings on the foundation set up by the former Postal Service, efforts toward mandatory citizen registration, have been enhanced greatly. Okay. So wait. So are the is the postal service in the twenty fifth ward then a group of people who were let go of the postal service throughout Japan, who are then in the employ of this guy? That kind of seems like the vibe. The inception of the project lies in indirect community administration. The purposes of use of people's IDs are clarified in order to construct efficient and effective interpersonal relationships. Then, by making rules and punishments clear, honesty and equality can be guaranteed. It becomes the city of dreams for those who want it. The urban residents absolutely swarmed in. However, that alone does not realize the ideal. It simply reconstructs a corrupt and depraved society once again. The future I have in mind is one of an all-new reconstruction of the Kanto region. Just as those who came in from the countryside built up Kanto, the 25th Ward will offer a new society, built up by the chosen few. Basically, it's a plan for a new second capital. Many of the politicians hungry for revenge supported the plan. The powerful modern-day lords of the various regions sent many residents to the 25th Ward. Community-based purges of unwanted and unnecessary human resources were led by politicians. A cleansing for the outlying regions and a boon for the 25th Ward. But the 25th Ward also needs to be cleansed. While they may be the chosen few, recessive elements are born. These elements absolutely must be processed and disposed of. The heinous crimes unit to which you belong is a special agency 
created for this purpose. The special rites you've been granted were provided an expectation of a similar, similar cleansing effect. Taking all of this into consideration, I want to negotiate with you. I want to consolidate and aggregate these scandals in the 25th Ward. Therefore, I've prepared a new name for you. I want you to work under this name. You just need to- you just need to do adjustments. Using the name Kamui Uehara. They should have no reason to decline. Kamui has been burned into your memory. You will then live in this city. I want you to become the driving force behind these people's lives. As a special agent of the Heinous Crimes Unit and as the serial killer, Kamui Uehara. So very much the same role that Kamui Uehara played in the 24 Wards. I see. Because what the purpose of Kamui Uehara was in the 24 Wards was to assassinate key members of the population to lead the development of the 24 wards in a certain direction, right? So what Nakane is proposing for this detective of the Heinous Crimes Unit is to become Kamui Uehara in a very similar fashion as the Kamui Uehara of the 24 wards. The one that was later Brutally murdered by the heinous crimes unit. <laughs> Since this place probably started up, there have been more than 50 suicides. I mean, I say suicides, but the causes of death are unknown. The police haven't been able to intervene. It's been hard for me to get by, too. I'll look into it. If you get the chance, lend me a hand. So, what are you here for today? There's been an incident which I can say with certainty wasn't a suicide. The Postal Service manages this residential area. They're literally hiding out in these apartment buildings. Did you meet with the diver? With the diver? Our agents did some pretty heavy processing. But some people in white jumpsuits snatched the delivery guy. That was supposed to be our way of assisting you. What the fuck exactly are you? Hatsoba! How far deep have you ventured? I can feel the ghastliness in your tone. Just like the Michiru of old. Can I ask you one thing? What is it? Why didn't you pull the trigger earlier? At that timing, disposal would have been fully possible. I wasn't able to discern whether I was dealing with friend or foe. So you just let your catch go? See how they'd move or what? No, that's not it. My position and my relationship with you are still vague. In all honesty, I didn't want to make contact just yet. I'm in pretty deep. I guess there's still a lot you, you don't know. That's certainly not good news. Adjustments may be required. You gonna kill me? No, I won't. I don't yet have the capacity to execute your adjustment. I'll handle the matter once I've become stronger. How modest, you creepy fuck. There's one thing I'm going to have to decline. The Ministry of International Trade and Industry is about to begin full-blown observation. They're attempting to use their powers of forcible execution for the 25th Ward to change the laws of the entire country. Until then, just keep waiting quietly. That's impossible. If it's impossible, then we're going to have a problem. What kind of problem? The HC unit will be destroyed. But... What if we can't be destroyed? Then that is when you and I do battle. I've been looking forward to it. Alright. Interesting. Oh, we can see the moon? Moon. 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 Moon! Yeah! What if it was purple? Good looking guy is coming soon. Travel is dangerous. I love Moon. Hold on, I have to I have to adjust the counter.
What if it was Erpel? Why it Erpel, though? So, I... So, I wonder. Can I... I can! Oh, what the fuck! Hold up, 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 hold up. Hey, that's called placebo. That's interesting. So that's for zero. Yeah, placebo and matchmaker. So matchmaker seems like it's for one. These are very important. I know I know that these are gonna be very important. And then we got placebo. So we should have done placebo. So we should have done this before we did um that first case. And then we'll do okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. It is yeah, it is wait, is it the Triforce? Hold up. Oh yeah. Yeah, it sure is.